What's going on guys? Rich Boy J here back here with another stream. Today we are working on Vardos. I'm super hyped because I actually got a pretty big order in on some parts that your boy was desperate for. So finally got those in. I'm going to be working on the tops basically of these two buildings. The goal is going to be to make them look like the top of this building so you guys will get to see that. But uh, what's going on guys? How is everyone doing tonight? Let me make my chat bigger. Yeah, shout out to everyone who was able to make the stream tonight. I'm super excited to be streaming right now. So if you guys didn't notice, the hashtag for tonight is hashtag pretty hot. And <laughs> so I've been watching a lot of Star Wars movies lately. And what's new, right? But no, I've been watching um, the prequels. So I'm, I'm starting to, I'm trying to watch all of them over again. I started with episode four, then I went to episode seven, and then now I'm just going in order. So one, two, three, and I'll probably go five, six, eight, Rogue One, and maybe Solo. Depends on how I feel. And I realized <laughs> there's this scene in episode one when I guess Jar Jar, and I, I don't know if this is like an oversight or whatever, but basically Jar Jar ends up telling Anakin, like, as they're getting on one of the like Coruscant speeders to go. I guess they were going to, like, the Senate chamber or something like that. But basically, um, Jar Jar ends up telling Anakin something along the lines of, like, yeah, the queen's being really nice to you. And then he just turns his head and he goes, pretty hot. And I'm just like, what is, like, I can't believe that's in a Star Wars film. So the hashtag of tonight is pretty hot. So yeah, I'm on, um, so the big thing I've been waiting on are a bunch of these pieces, these large one by two by five bricks so I can basically do, I don't know if you guys can see it, but basically there's a big column in front of these buildings, so I need to do that. Jason Yala says, I see crate. Yeah, this is what remains of crate. I need to get that taken apart and sorted at some point, but there it is. How about 2018, though, guys? Um, we can do a little bit of reflection today on this stream because a lot happened in 2018, obviously. I don't know if you guys really consider that Scarif build series to be a legit build series. I really don't. It, was, it kind of was impromptu. So I would say 2018 was this channel's first build series, and I would describe it as a very successful build series. I think Garrett and I did pretty good job on Crete. The reception to it was great. And um, this channel grow, grew so much from that build series. So that was pretty freaking cool. And um, now I'm working on Vardos. So it's pretty crazy, pretty crazy. So just remember that terrible Clone Wars mock at Brickworld? It was just green base plates. Uh, I plead the fifth. But yeah, guys, 20, um, 20, I'm going to make sure my bricks don't smell like smoke. You guys ever, I don't know, is that something, do you guys do that? Whenever you get a brick link order in, you got to make sure it don't smell like smoke. I tell you what, if, if you're a seller and you send me parts that smell like smoke, you're going to get the smoke, if you know what I mean. Stop saying that's hot. I didn't say that's hot, I said pretty hot pretty hot convert a pork into a mac that would be interesting all right what's your favorite lego set at of the, this time because i'm going to the biggest lego store in the world tomorrow i have no idea what to buy um the porg i'm not even kidding get a porg if you don't have one get a porg what's up john cena what's going on Ryder Thompson says, what if Danny DeVito played Kylo Ren? That would be pretty cool. So we got Fives Productions in the house, a.k.a. Joshua Lange. Ewing or Y-Wing? I'm going to go with Ewing. Ewing is pretty dope. Dude, Cena, I am too, man. I I hope everything goes well. I hope, I hope it's a good Saturday. I took off of work because... If Saturday does not go well, 
I want to need some a lot of recovery time. So I'm off Saturday and Sunday. What's up, Creed? My boy Creed in the house. So is any uh, so Jackson Leaf says he's gonna start his own YouTube channel. Any tips? Uh, yeah, you gotta be consistent. Um, that's really the the biggest tip I can give you. Be consistent. Give your channel an identity. What's up, Forever Lego Studios? He says, gotta head back to work. Well, glad you can make it for at least a little while. Do I recommend selling instructions for custom ships? Absolutely. That's what I do. Bricknado says, that tower is insane. Thank you very much. So um, I've realized, like, you guys are going to see, like, a lot of progress done in this next update video. Like, I've been working on this mock so much lately, and <laughs> I'm realizing, basically, at this point, I have just a row of buildings coming from here to here, and it's making, it's made it basically super difficult for me to, like, reach over it and build kind of in that middle section. So I realized, like, I probably should have gotten everything right in front of them 100% complete. Before I did that, especially in here, because you guys can see actually right here, this is one of the new things I did. I finally put up this light right here, this Vardos light, and it was so difficult to like fit my arms between here and like solder the wires in because I had some um, copper tape in there that I had laid in preparation for getting that wired up, and it was so difficult to do that. So yeah, there's a pro tip. If you're building tall structures in a mock, especially ones that can't be moved, like these things are... I was going to say they were all solid, but clearly they weren't solid enough. Um, make sure you build, like, don't build in such a way where it's going to be really difficult for you to, like, reach between them and continue working on it. Have you bought a mock off of Mock Hub? No, I don't even know what that is, to be honest. What's up, Cyclone? Appreciate that, Forever Lego Studios. What's up, Miles Morales? Holy crap. We got ourselves a superhero. I'm doing pretty good, Cyclone. Joseph says PlayStation or Xbox. I personally have a PlayStation, so I'm going to go with that. What's your biggest Lego mod? Like mod is in something I did to a previously existing set, or are you counting mocks as well? If you made a Clone Wars mock, what would it be? So, Garrett and I were actually talking about this the other day, and I was trying to think, you know, like, if I did something from the Clone Wars, what would I actually do? Um, before I answer your question, I would ask you first, what do you consider Clone Wars to be? Do you mean strictly from the TV show? Would you consider episodes two and three mocks to be also Clone Wars mocks, if they involve clones? Or what specifically do you consider to be a Clone Wars mock? Because all the quote-unquote Clone Wars mocks that I would like to do they, um, they're really from the movies. So let me know what you think. Commander Creed says, have you watched Brickwood's new series? I like it, but it's weird how he comments on back leg printing. Does Mac have a thing for math? Have a thing for back leg printing. What new series? Are you talking about the Should You Buy? I saw the first one. Anything with clones will satisfy me. Do you put Duplo under your Legos for stability? No, I do not. I don't own very many Duplo pieces. I don't really I don't really need back leg printing to be honest. That's not something I think is super necessary. Will I make a Y Wing? You mean for this mock or just in general? If you just mean in general, probably not. There are tons of good Y Wing mocks out there. No need to reinvent the wheel. I'm talking about your biggest crate mod. I don't understand what you mean by that. Anything that is in the Clone Wars era is Clone Wars. So basically, if I were to do a Clone Wars, if, you, if that's what you mean, then I would say I would do a Geonosis mock. The first battle of Geonosis would be my ideal Clone Wars mock. It says those one by two by fives are like the cheapest LBG brick. Yeah, they're actually not that expensive. I was just waiting for them to come in. What would you even do for back leg printing? Same with printing on the sides of the torso. So this, I'm pretty sure this Commander Cody figure that I have has back leg printing. You can see they basically, you can't really tell them I have to come to the other side, but I'll show you exactly what you could do with it. 
So basically, you can see on the back of the leg, there's like that stripe. So I, that's something you could do with back leg printing. Like I said, it's so inconsequential. Like it's really not that necessary. Forever Lego Studio says he started working on the footprints as well as how he wants the ground to look. He's waiting for two orders to come in. It has 2K two by two tiles. That's awesome. I was gonna ask you if you would put it in order to buy those tiles and I'm glad you did. So shout out to Forever Lego Studios. Go check out his Hothmock guys. He's doing a pretty dope job. He is using a Rich Boy J AT, -AT so you know it's gonna be lit. Thank you very much, Bazooka Yeti. What's up, Mason Rodriguez? You should get some AV figures, Commander Cody. I would love to, honestly. Jay, we are the only people on the face of the planet that like the new Stormtrooper helmet. Yeah, that's what it seems like. I mean, there are a few other people on that picture who commented that they liked it, but I'm honestly kind of surprised by the fact that, like, so many people don't like it. I freaking love that thing. It was definitely an update that I would have preferred. It just, there's just so much more detail in it. Like, I was comparing it to the buildable figure Stormtrooper helmet, and, I mean, that thing is pretty detailed in itself, and, like, the one that they made just looks so nice. The new The new helmet. All right, have fun at work, Hunter. And thank you for the kind words. Jay, what do you think about Lego Customs? I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't know who that is. The mouth on the helmet is too big and you can't turn it 360 degrees. Yeah, the, the turning thing is the, my biggest gripe with it. And I, yeah, it, it sucks. It sucks you can't turn the head all the way. I think the size of the frown is fine. Bazooka Yeti, please do not spam the chat with PewDiePie comments. That is a quick way to get banned. Zandy says, would have preferred droid legs. New droid legs, yeah, that'd be nice. New droid anything would honestly be nice at this point. Lego Spencer says, what's your favorite Jedi besides Luke Skywalker? That's a great question. Um, huh. I like Plo Koon. Plo Koon's pretty cool. Rich Boy J, do you put Easter eggs in your mock? Yes, I do. I put tons of Easter eggs in my mocks. Are you going to put Stormtrooper Miniface with the new molds in the mock? Um, I'm thinking about it and probably not. As much as I would like to, I just don't see myself amassing enough of those to fill out this mock between now and when I'm going to finish it. Like, there's, there's not going to be any new sets released by the time between now and when I finish this mock. So that means there's not going to be any potential, like, Smaller set with, you know, multiples of those Stormtroopers. So unless, like, a hundred people want to do donate me one of those Stormtroopers, I don't really see it happening. So that kind of sucks. But for the people who don't like that figure, then this is a win for you, I guess. What are my thoughts on the Geonosis Clone Trooper Battle Pack? I mean, I don't really care for it. The, the troops in it aren't canon. You know what I mean? Like, they aren't that looking figures. They're just... They're just not canon, so I don't really care for them. Frimless says, Jay, do you have any pets? No. So, that, I guess I'll rephrase that. My brother has a dog who, who is here, but I do not consider that to be my pet. I am not a fan of pets. Sandy says, really hope there's a new Scout Trooper helmet that's similar to the Kashyyyk Arf... Arf Trooper helmet. So I hear a lot of people say they want a new Scout Trooper helmet. I honestly think that the one that they made for the... God dang it. I honestly think the one that they made for the Kashyyyk Trooper, and maybe that's what you're referring to, looks fine. Like, I feel like they could use that for a Scout Trooper to have a new updated helmet. There aren't that many differences between the two. All right, I gotta figure out how to piece this back together. How do you make bland walls in a mock interesting? Um, so I would say, honestly, just like, like watch any Star Wars film 
and like just go to a location where you feel you feel is similar enough to what you're building and just look at some of the things that they do to you know make the walls look interesting and try to recreate that in lego i would say that's actually a good question because i find myself sometimes like i'll build a wall and it's like how can i make this a little bit more detailed but you know how that goes Cyclone says the Genos and Super Battle Pack should have had Phase 1 armor. I mean, I guess. Commander, Captain Rex or Commander Cody. I mean, I love the way Cody looks, but my boy Rex ain't a traitor. So, I gotta go with my boy Rex. What's your opinion on the Lego Star Wars buildable figures? I hate them. <laughs> They're garbage to me. Do I still play Battlefront? Mm, I, as I really just play that game on Vardos to get like reference for this mock, but other than that, not really. Not really, no. What's up, Brick Force? Commander Wolf or Commander Fox? I gotta go with Wolf. Once again, not a traitor. Traitor! What's your favorite Star Wars book? Mine's Last Shot. My favorite Star Wars book is Bloodline. Bloodline. What's my dream battle pack besides 501st? Um, a battle pack with four phase one clone troopers. I'm all about the phase one. Do my fingers ever get sore from pressing so many Legos together? No, they do not. I'm a pro at the game. I'm a pro in the game. Favorite droid in Star Wars? That's a good question. Um, I don't know. Favorite droid, favorite droid. Probably BB-8, honestly. BB-8's dope. BB-8 is a boyo. How did I make the intro? So I actually didn't make it. Um, the guy in the chat earlier who was John Cena, that's, that was his name, he made it. What do I think about the uh, new Lego Stormtrooper mold? I love it. Check out my Instagram. I made a very, the post I made made it very clear what my impressions were. Do you think if I'm built bulking I'm guessing you mean building a mock. Should I purchase figures from Bricklink or eBay? I would say, I mean, either of those are fine. Just check and see which one has a better price for what you're trying to get. Honestly, I feel like as someone who builds quite a bit, if, you're, if your like, fingers are getting damaged from the way you're building, then you're not building, right? Because that has never happened to me. Honestly, don't know what my favorite Lego, my first Lego set was. That was a very long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. All right, Alessandro says, so what is this? I'm new to the channel and I just started watching your live builds. Can you talk to me about it? I'm making a Hoth mock and need your help. You so, want to buy some death if you want to know what I'm doing right now, I'm, I'm working on my Vardos mock. That's kind of the nature of these live streams. So that's kind of what I'm doing. But as for your Hoth mock, do you have any specific questions? Integral Brick says, my fingers hurt from disassembling. Once again, if your fingers hurt from disassembling things, you're not disassembling correctly. Because once again, I, I, I've never had that happen. You guys need to learn how to build better. Am I doing this right? Oh, I see. What the heck? My first Lego set was a Transformer. Boy. What do I want to see in Episode 9? I want to see a good battle that I can build a mock out of. How about that?
Because I don't know, it's like 40,000 bricks in two days. Dude, do you know... Do you know how much I had to disassemble for Crate? Trust me. I'm sure Crate had easily over a few hundred thousand bricks. So, trust me, I understand. I'm doing good. I'm doing really good, actually. It's always fun to hop on these streams, and it's always fun to get progress on this mock. Thank you very much, Michael. Alice Motion says, what would I do if my mock fell off the table? I would honestly be very impressed. Like, it would be very intriguing to see how that would happen. Would you like to see a Battle on Kamino Lego set? Battle on, do you mean like from the Clone Wars? Or that battle between Obi-Wan and Jango Fett on the platform. Am I going to make any new LEGO Star Wars songs? Absolutely. I got one that I'm working on right now, actually. So there's the scoop. There's your scoop of the day, kids. Aye, aye, Captain. I can't hear you. Oh... All right, so that is not hot. I was about to comment about the lack of porgs, but then I noticed, come on, bro, I have two in the background. Cut me some slack. Question about Mox, how do you start building base plates? I'm working on an iron cannon. I mean, ion cannon, maybe? Have any suggestions? Uh, I'm not sure, honestly. I need a more specific question. Make a diss track on the brick queen. Why would I do that? Why would I start beef with someone that I don't even, I don't even know her like that. Come on, guys. Let's be positive. Can I sing 501st now? Eh, I don't really feel like it. Am I cool? Boy, I'm ice cold. I'm cold like ha. Huh? By the way, I have a singular pork now. He's not as big as your children, but I got one. I'm so glad you got one. How do you like it? ATAT -AT versus ATTE. -T I'm going to go with the ATAT. I'm in England and it's midnight. Gonna have to go now. I totally understand, man. You take care. All right. Hold on. I'll be right back. I need to grab some parts from over here. See? Told you I'd be right back. Jay, you want to know what to do? With two Yoda's huts, you build a full hut. Oh, yeah, I guess you could build the front and the back, huh? What was my favorite subject when I was in school? It was just really a subject, but my favorite thing I did in high school was debate. Oh, God. <laughs> I, realize, I just realized you can't even see me back here. I'm perfectly behind the building. Favorite era of Star Wars. I mean, how did you not say the Imperial era, right? Speech and debate, gang. Turn up. I saw your Thai bomber. It looks amazing. Great job. Brick Force apparently has a Thai bomber. And it looks amazing. So you should definitely go check it out, guys. My favorite Lego set of all time is, of course, the UCS Star Destroyer. What's up, Shaw Brick Productions? 
Welcome to the club. Welcome to our club. Welcome, Shaw. Welcome, Shaw. Welcome, Shaw. Welcome, Shaw. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Sum up the prequels in one quote. Sum up the prequels in one quote. Huh. Pretty hot. There you go. There's my quote. That is the quote. A surprise, but a welcome one to be sure. I've got a bad feeling about this. Appreciate that, Shawbrick Productions. Roses are red, all milk is blue, it's over Anakin, also the Clone Wars is cool. <clears throat> Rhyming is overrated, apparently. Pretty hot. You guys cannot tell me that the best Star Wars quote isn't pretty hot. Like, for real, though. Moi, moi. It's over, and I can I have death sticks. Anakin, Anakin, I'm a person and my name is Anakin. I'm entering the boon to race. All right, see you tan bricks. Yeah, I wanna, oh God. Yeah, I want to buy some dust sticks. You don't know the power of the dark side. What's up, Trevor Sullivan? You didn't miss much. I'm just chilling, building. Doing my thing. You don't want to sell me dust sticks. You want to go home and rethink your life. I want to go home and rethink my life. Kids, don't ever try dust sticks. Drugs are bad, okay? <laughs> Uh-oh. Can you suggest any ideas to start building a mock, mock preferably Hoth? Um, look at a lot of reference pictures. That's my general advice to anyone. Look at a lot of reference pictures. Boom Jovi Game says, Jay, congratulations to your incredible mocks. You're an artist. Thank you so much. You ever want to leave your Nabu Palace and fly away in your Republic gunship? Yep. Don't we all? All right. See you, Michael.
So having watched episode one recently and episode two, I think my conclusion is that Star Wars episode one is the worst Star Wars film. All right, see you there, Eddie. Good luck on your homework. But yeah, like episode one, when I watched it, it was just boring and how is that possible? What is happening? Yeah, episode one was just boring. It really is. Yeah, I'm sorry, Acred. So yeah, I mean, there's more to it. Episode one, not only is it boring, but like, it's just... It is just so inconsequential to all of Star Wars. Hold on one sec, guys. Hello? Yeah, I got off at 4.30. Yes, he has no food, though. Yeah, I would have done it, but I'm streaming right now. Got the food. Okay, I'll see you soon. Alright, bye bye. Anyways, um, yeah, no, episode one is just so inconsequential to all of Star Wars. Like, that movie could have never happened, and it would change nothing about the story. And episode two is kind of that same way in terms of our characters. But know, episode one is even more so, just so inconsequential to the story. So yeah. It says, can we get a prequel trilogy special edition where all the visual effects are just pores in every scene? That would be great. So here's a question for all of you. What Subway sandwich do you get? I always get the Philly cheesesteak. When Anakin jumped at... And I'm assuming jumped at Obi Wan. I would have force pushed him into the lava while he was in midair. Yeah, that would have worked. That would have worked. Hold on, I need to get up and make sure this thing is lined up properly. Jace Ayala says, episode 8 does nothing. They are right back to where they started in episode 7. How about not at all? There, so Episode 8 is probably the most eventful Star Wars film. Regardless of how you feel about what happens, I would certainly say it's the most eventful Star Wars film. Obi-Wan cutting up Anakin is more savage, though. Yes. It would have been cool if, like, he, like, just, when he jumped in the air, he just stuck his lightsaber through him like a shish kebab and just held him in the air. That would have been that would have been great. What's my most expensive bill? Definitely the ATM six. If you're not counting like the, I mean, crate I guess by default was the most expensive because it was most biggest. But if you just mean like a singular build, like a vehicle, definitely that ATM six. Thanks for showing some support, How to Be a Chicken. What a name, also. Actually, I guess I'll find out. Let's see. If Obi-Wan had tried to shish kebab Anakin, wouldn't he slide through the blade? I mean, he'd eventually stop at the handle, I guess. Jay, how come you don't eat on stream? I've eaten on stream, I think, like once, and I ended up dropping food on the mock, so I try not to do that anymore. Garrett was very displeased by that. Why? 
When do you expect to be finished with the mock? My goal is by the end of the month, so we'll see how that goes. Darth Vader is a vision of all people's fear. He is not real, but he can feel emotion. He is Anakin, not a... What? That's a little too meta for me. Displeased Garrett face. I know that face all too well. Jay says, you asked all of us to build an ATM 6 at Rickroll so you can have 7. Yeah, I'm still counting on you guys to do that. If I were able to get seven people to build my ATM six and all bring it to Brickworld, I would totally do crate again and do it bigger for with seven ATM with seven other ATM sixes so we can have full eight. So it's Jay, where do you get the Lego E eleven you use in this mod? That is a brick arms custom weapon. Shout out to Brick Arms. <laughs> yeah, Creed, that was, like, too deep for me. Hey, shout out to Garrett to Paul with the first donation of the chat, or the of the live stream. Thank you so much, Garrett. He didn't even have anything to say. He just donated out of the kind of, kindness of his heart. Thank you so much. How much should I spend on my first mock? A million dollars. I don't know, whatever fits in your budget. Honestly, the most, I'll tell you the, the most important thing when you build any mock is one, that you're having fun, and two, that you like it in the end. So, if you are building something that satisfies those, I would say you have succeeded. Shout out to third, Lego third party companies. For real though. So, how about, so, I was actually looking at something earlier today, and you guys can tell me what you think about it. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you a picture of it, but um, I will. Hopefully, you guys can like Google search or something if you don't know exactly what I'm talking about. But basically, there's this character in the Jurassic Park, the only Jurassic Park set that we got. It's not the not the Jurassic World set, but the one that's actually from the original Jurassic Park film. And the the blonde chick who's in it has like dark tan shorts um, and brown boots. And I was looking and I was thinking like, holy crap, that would be perfect for a Ray figure. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google search the, uh, I forget her name. I looked at it on the box today. Um, so maybe someone on the chat will know, but like her legs would be perfect for like a Ray mini figure. Cause obviously like Ray has her Ugg looking boots and then like her shins are exposed and then she has her shorts. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. Cause I saw that and I was like, holy crap, I might have to pick up some of those and like, I don't know, maybe pay someone to like custom print like a Ray looking array looking print on it. What's up, Parker Day? No, it's not on my channel. It's a set. Oh, I, no, you weren't even talking to me. Never mind. Yo, Jay, I bought a UCS Slave one for 70 bucks. It's missing the wings in some pieces. Was it a good buy? That sounds like a good buy to me. That sounds like a great buy. Do you have any crazy haircut stories? No. No, I do not have any crazy haircut stories. I cut my own hair for the longest time when it was short. At this point, I still do. I cut like the sides and edge it up, but I go, I get it twisted, obviously. What do I donate to get a figure in the mock? Um, super chat. It's a little money sign by the, uh, by the chat window. Welcome back, Tan Bricks. Dude, you missed it. 
I don't know what you missed, but you definitely missed it. Wolf, why are you being so deep? Holy crap. Did you guys know that Yoda has green blood? Because why not? Because George Lucas. Since when is Commander Wolf so philosophical? I would hate to be on the battlefield with him. Do I like the new Stormtrooper helmet and old design? Yes, 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 yes. Dang it. That's the difficult thing about building. Like, it's so, like, I have to try to wrap my arms around these buildings to get this stuff to work. No! I guess I'll have to rewatch the part I was away for. Honestly, nothing really happened. But you should rewatch it because, you know, you know. Just do it. Ryan Tibbs says, how many times throughout forever do you think George Lucas will try to upgrade A New Hope? Well, he's not able to do that at this point. If there's one thing you can be thankful for with Disney buying Star Wars is that they saved George Lucas from himself and from further tainting an otherwise excellent movie. Roman says, what do you think about the fake rumors that Finn and Poe were to be gay together? I mean, I didn't really get that impression from the film. And if they're fake rumors, then I don't really think much about it. It's fake. <laughs> Luke Skywater. Luke Skywater. What's my favorite yellow item? A yellow Lego brick. Come on. Don't mind me, I'm just thinking about how Lego hasn't made a Zuckus figure yet. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Zuckus is the one, like, bounty hunter that Lego just pretends doesn't exist. I would like to know, like, what did Zuckus ever do to Lego for him to get the treatment he's gotten? Zuckus. Zuckus. You need focus. What's my favorite Clone Wars episode? Um, it's hard for me to single out one episode. I like the um, the Umbara arc. Is it just me that thinks Zuckus has tiny arms, or do my eyes play tricks on me? Um, I don't think he has tiny arms. I think his maybe his head is just so large and makes his eyes look tiny. Leia's name is actually Princess 
Leia Oregano. Princess Liam Ostracize. Speaking of which, you just reminded me, I do need to, like, actually watch the unfinished episodes of The Clone Wars so I can kind of know what to expect whenever the series comes back. Do you keep track on the parts count for the smock? Any idea where you're at right now? It's looking great. Lights of progress. Thank you very much. I have no idea how many parts are in this mock. Too many to count. That's for sure. That's for sure. It says, yeah, heck yeah, we got that in common. Absolutely love the Umbar episode. They're really entertaining and deep. Yeah, Umbar is just fantastic. I'm in love with my gonk droid. Shout out to gonk droids. Jay, is it weird the only Boba Fett I have is the prototype armor one? That is actually kind of weird. Oh. Here's a question. If I were to do a Clone Wars mock, but actually from the Clone Wars series, like, what what would you guys want to see from the actual Clone Wars TV show? Break 4 says, are you including another Lego Star Wars complete saga Easter egg? Oh, yes. I've been planning to do this Easter egg for so long. I think you guys are really going to like it. I literally have to, like, hold myself back from doing too many Lego Star Wars Easter eggs. Like, I need to I need to save some for later, you know what I mean? Because I had one that I thought was going to be, like, really funny. But I was like, yeah, I'll save that one. <laughs> Those are your options, my guy. Umbar, Ryloth. I'm surprised you guys like Ryloth so much. I feel like Ryloth is a relatively boring looking planet, honestly. It's just a bunch of rock structures, you know? But then again, that's, I guess, the same case for Geonosis. Geonosis is at least orange, though. I'd like to see an Umbar mark, mock with Umbar and weaponry and vehicles and the planet's plantation. Okay. Can you join MNR and Brick Vibe stream right now? Um, I'm a little busy. <laughs> Everett says he has three Easter eggs in his Lego Millennium Falcon in the Indiana Jones gear. That's pretty funny. Oh, one Easter egg. Oh, okay. Or the Gungan city on Naboo. <laughs> Would you guys actually been interested in, in seeing an out of Gungamok? I'm hungry. What do you recommend I should get, Jay? Uh, get pizza. Yeah, everyone makes Geonosis mocks, but very few people make orange, dark orange Geonosis mocks. And thank you, chicken tendies. My, my goal for this mock is to be done by the beginning, uh, by the end of the month. So like I said, we'll see how that goes. The nice thing about this is I'm not taking it to any specific convention, so there, I'm not rushed to finish this up, but I would like to finish it up in a reasonable amount of time because I got plans. Did I see Brickwiz's 2018 video? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Preston Cook. Uh, 
Speaking of Umbara, I had no idea that Slymore was an Umbaran. <laughs> Brickforce, that would be dope. You should do like the the main hub. Which I guess would just end up being a Mos Eisley mock. Jay, you and Forever are my favorite YouTubers out of the 268 channels I'm subscribed to. Awesome, thank you. Do I have any ideas about my next mock after Vardos? I know exactly what I'm building after Vardos. And I'm very excited to build it. Poodoo. Have I ever been gnomed? Yes, whatever that means. It's always weird seeing something in the Clone Wars and then seeing the same thing in live action. What do you mean, like, when it appears in the Clone Wars first? Are you are you going to say what you're going to do after Vardos? No. That is a question. That's a good question for another day. Is it from Complete Saga? It might be. Who knows? Ace Gamer Studios, looking for your last comment. Where is it? Okay, I can't find it. Just recomment it. Saw Guerrero. Guerrero. And Karita will feature a surprise visit from Officer J and Officer Garrett. Awesome. Yi Jaw. Guess I have to move my ATM6 finishing because now I really want to do this mock. Haha. <laughs> I will never finish ATM6. What mock do you want to do? How do you feel about how much Lego is advertising Lego Movie 2 compared to the rest of the themes? I mean, I think it's fine. They have a movie to sell tickets to, so they need to advertise this thing as much as possible. I feel, I mean, honestly, personally, I feel like I haven't seen that much advertising for the second Lego Movie, but, I mean, clearly, they're doing enough if you feel that way. Like to see something in the Clone Wars style first and seeing it translate into live action. Yeah, I agree. Well, I guess, like, what, what did we see like that? I'm trying to think. Sagarera? Oh, that's why someone was like Sagarera. I was thinking, but the only things I can really think of are from like Rebels. Like seeing the ghosts in Rogue One. It says they aren't advertising other lines nearly as much as the Lego movie too. Well, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, that's like... They, um, they put a lot of money into making that movie, so... They need to advertise it. You think, like, think about it, right? Like, compare, like, Lego, the Lego movie to, like, Star Wars, for example. Like, Star Wars 1, it, it kind of sells itself because of the name, but also a lot of other advertisements are being done by, like, Disney for just Star Wars in general. So, like, Star Wars will always be in the public eye, whereas with Lego, the Lego movie, like, they have to advertise it, right? Like, that's their thing, you know? It makes sense to me says Umbarans and the Clone Wars look so much different than how they look in live action. Well, wasn't Slime Moore in episode two? Like, we saw her before the Clone Wars, didn't we? I mean, we saw her before, yeah, didn't, I'm pretty sure we did. Hey, boy, I couldn't see you behind that big building. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's getting kind of cramped back here. Why are beach troopers always thinking they're never sure? 
When aren't they always sure because they're beach troopers? What do you think about the next minifigure series possibly being a Star Wars one? On the Lego Movie 2 series, it says May series will be surprising and it is in black and gold. It's not going to be Star Wars. I can tell you that for sure right now. Jay, don't get lost in your mock. Bro, I couldn't get lost in my mock. I'm already lost in the sauce. If you know what I mean. Kenji, I'm sure there are a lot of people on this planet with the same hair as me. Appreciate that, Hawk Productions. How many mocks do you have lined up after Vardos? Um, I pretty much know what I'm going to be doing for the next, like, two years. So, there you go. There's that. So is Vardos going to extend to the table in front of you, or is it extending on the table to your left also? Yeah, Vardos is, right now it's on two tables, and then it's going to be on that table as well. I just, I separated them because it was easier for me to get between this and work on the buildings on this side. But it'll be three tables big, which is four by six gray base plates and a row of uh, 32 by 32 base plates. So it's a pretty big mock. Could you build Octo next, but make it scale to your porgs, please? Dude, so you basically want me to, like, make an Octo the size of this room, like, this room, right? Where is our favorite suicidal drunk crazy Cody? He's right here. He was laying under a park bench. Here. There he is. Whenever I first finished my um, Millennium Falcon, I actually wanted to do a uh, an Octo mock. Like, honestly, if Garrett and I didn't end up doing Scarif, I probably would have built Octo for my Falcon. So, there's some news for you. Where's that Cody from? That is uh, the minifigs for you, Cody. Shout out to David Hall. When's the ATSC going to be in the mic? I've basically decided it's going to be over by the ATAT. -AT, so whenever I get near that like area of the mock, you will see the ATST. Jay, who's your favorite rapper? Um I couldn't even tell you because you wouldn't know who it is. But my favorite rapper who you would actually know, uh, I'd say Lil Wayne. Jay, what about you including a UCS Porg in it, but it is only in light and dark bluish gray? That's a bit much. All right, see you, Joseph Roy. And that boy Fives ordered some Domino's. Bro, send some my way, too. That's when I'll know I've made it. When someone on a stream orders me pizza. I'll know my YouTube career has taken off. All right, yeah, bro, just, sh yeah, ship it to me when it gets to you. Appreciate it, homie. Fires is such a bro. Thank God someone is streaming. I was starting to get bored. What's up, Jedi Bob? We got that boy Jedi Bob in the house. What's your address for pizza delivery? Uh, well, that's the thing, ain't it? I don't feel comfortable giving out my address.
I guess I didn't really think that one through. What's up with all the new donators in the description? What did I miss? Bro, you've you've missed a lot. What Star Wars character would you date? Obviously. Obviously Bazinga Tall. Come on. I want to send you money, but I'm not tech savvy, but so I sent money on a bird. It should be there in a few days. Oh, thanks, man. That is so dope. That's the problem with today's kids. They're all tech savvy, but they're not bird savvy. Brick Builder Studio says the mock's looking good. Jay, thank you very much. Speaking of which, when are when are we gonna see a certain mock from you, Lee? A certain tan mock. A certain completed tan mock. If you know what I mean. What's up, Lego Soldier eighty two? Creed says he's more of a Bosque person. I don't know. That lisp would just irritate me. Where's the Cardi B jokes? I've been missing for a while. That's a good question. Does anyone? When is the last time we've referenced Cardi B? It had to be pretty recently. She hasn't gone too far. I'm, I'm pretty sure we talked about Cardi B on the last stream. Lisa's very soon. Thank you. Jeez. Dude, I was so excited to see it at um, Brick World. Obviously, you didn't have much control over that, but all I'm saying is you got a, you got a minor setback for a major comeback. Creed, could you actually bring yourself to hunt a Wookiee, though? I'm not really into hunting. What's up, Brick Wiz? What's going on, bro? He says, yep, last string you chose Cardi B over somebody. Yeah, I'm, I knew I talked about Cardi B recently. And now I'm talking about her again. Everything in the world is right. Matt, I heard your Kessel update this weekend was going to be so dope, bro. <laughs> Cardi B, oh man, we back. Bro, you already know. You know I can't go too long without talking about the queen. To me, she's royalty. I'm still debating on if I should make you and Garrett a Republic officer on Felucia or just have a meme where you're both smugglers watching the battle. You should definitely make us actual officers. I'm 99% finished the Falcon, so this week would be dope. Awesome, bro. I can't wait to see it. Anyone, if you're in the chat right now, you're not sub to BrickWiz, you'll definitely want to do it now because he's going to have a dope up, uh, building Kessel update this weekend. You should make a space slug for <laughs> with the UCS Falcon. Dude, that would be huge. That would be like the size of this room. Hey, thank you, Jedi Bob. Because I felt like donating, you should have a guest on. I don't know, I might do that. Maybe if I take a break and I come back, I'll like bring the stream back up as a hangout so I can actually have someone on. We'll see. We shall see. But yeah, thank you, Jedi Bob. Bro, anytime, Matt. Anytime, boyo. What's up, Star Wars virals? Z -z -z -z. But yeah, you guys are in for an awesome week of updates. Like, Matt did a bunch of work on his mock. I did a ton of work on Vardos. So I think you guys will be very pleasantly surprised with what you see this weekend for the update videos. Do you have one of the old Bespin Guard minifigs? Yes, I do. That's the only Bespin Guard minifig with arm printing. I love it. What country would you want to visit one day? I'd love to visit Denmark. That'd be nice. What sports did you play in high school? None. 
I was in robotics and I was in debate. That's what I did. What's up, CO Clone Commander? Wow, no UK. Yes, I would like to visit the UK. Come on, bro. If I'm ever in the UK, you know we're doing a meetup. Whenever WrestleMania comes to the UK, I'll go. And we can go watch WrestleMania. Pod racing is a sport. That is true. Too bad I wasn't actually a pod racer. I just built it. Have you gotten a wolf pack trooper yet? No, I have not. We have 59 people but, but watching, but only 41. Are you kidding me? Guys, smash the like button. Show your boy some support. My Lego store had gray tiles and blue studs. It was a good day. That is always a good day. We had some of those come in the other day. Yo, this was dope. So we had a customer come in, and Garen and I were working, so it was pretty cool. But we were sitting at the, like, we were both at the counter, and then the kid comes up, and he's like, hey, do you have, like, trans blue studs? And we're like, yeah. And so we go get them for him, and he's like, and we're like, you know, what are you working on? He's like, oh, I'm doing Scarif. And we were both like, oh, cool. We built a Scarif. And he was like, yeah, I know. I know who you guys are. And I was like, oh, well, nice to meet you. So, yeah. That was a cool moment. Jay, you should check out Colin Furs. He built a big ATACC playhouse. Oh, I know exactly who. I know what you're talking about. What kind of robotics did you do? I did a uh, first tech challenge. And we had an FRC robot, but I didn't work on that. Spider has been killing it lately. Raw has been sucking, though. I just... Yeah. I just... I, I can't watch SmackDown on Raw. SmackDown, I've heard, is better than Raw, but I don't know. It's just it's just hard for me to watch either show, to be quite honest. You know you've made it when you walk into a store and people recognize you. It wasn't that I... It was a store I was working... It was a Lego store I worked at. I've actually experienced it though, where I was like in a, where was I at target? And this kid recognized me. It was, that was pretty cool. That was pretty hot. Pretty hot. What happened to Garrett? Nothing. He is fine. He's at home chilling. Am I going to WrestleMania 35? No. WrestleMania tickets are so expensive. Like, holy crap. So are we having another rap on the stream? Oh, um, I don't know how... I don't know. I don't know if I should do that. Last time I put a monetary value on it and that basically didn't mean anything. Jedi Bob, thank you, man. And you changed your profile picture back. I guess that, that makes sense. It says, tell us a story of how you and Garrett first met. I can do that. So, Garrett and I both work in a Lego store. And that is, ob we obviously are co-workers. And that's kind of how we met. But I remember distinctly, the first conversation we had, it was like, basically, he came in. Or, I, like, we were talking. And usually anyone, like, who's, like, new at the store, I'll ask them, you know, like, do you, like, Star Wars, right? To see or what kind of like Lego Star Wars fan, or what kind of Lego fan they are, and I'll try to see like what sets they're into. And he was telling me that he likes Star Wars, and I was like, okay, cool. You know, I collect a lot of Star Wars too. And the uh, we really bonded initially over like our love of that original Arc One Seventy shit that came out in two thousand five. And then we just started talking about more and more of like the sets that we collected when we were younger. And then at that point, like I knew, like okay, like we're gonna be pretty good friends because. He shared a lot of the same Lego Star Wars opinions that I had. And you can see, like, we're, we're obviously very close now. So it was pretty dope that both of us ended up in the same place. And, 
you know, we, we became such close friends because, like I said, you know, it's, it's not very easy to find people who are as into this hobby as we are. So, yeah, that was a pretty good time. Pretty good time. Are you going to replace all your Stormtrooper minifigures with the new ones? I would like to, although I probably will not just because I don't anticipate being able to get enough of those between now and when I'm finishing this mock. Michael Pencil says he ordered an ARC-170 today. Did you order the newer one or the older one? But yeah, dude, that ARC-170 from 2005, I remember that was definitely one of my favorite sets as a kid. I love that set so much that when I was younger, I built it twice. Like, and I'd never really done that with any other set, but I just love that set so much. And I love the build so much that I was like, I remember one day I just took it apart in the living room and then just rebuilt it because I just liked it so much. What is my rarest set? If you don't count like the, uh, Lego employee exclusive sets that I have, I guess the most valuable set that I own is the UCS Star Destroyer. Oh, crap. Shout out to Mig P for subscribing. Hello, boyos. Pretty hot. Where is the con? That's going to annoy me. How much longer will I be streaming today? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe another hour or so. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. What Star Wars alien would you kiss? Um, pretty much any girl Twi'lek. What do you do to keep yourself entertained when you're build off stream? I usually watch something or listening to like a wrestling or Star Wars podcast or watch Star Wars. When building Scarif, what would you and Garrett talk about? Like when we weren't streaming? Um, honestly, most of the time we would just put on a Star Wars film and we would talk trash about the prequels. We Garrett and I spent a lot of time talking trash about the prequels. What's up, Kid the Tigs? Nice to see you here. What's my favorite scene from the prequels? Um, my favorite scene from the prequels. That's kind of a hard question to answer. I don't know. I have to think about that. True friendship, building mocks together, and talking trash about the prequels. Does it get better than that? No, it does not. Ugh, I got the ARC-170 years ago on Christmas. Love it. But as stupid as I was, like, 12 years old, I thought those pilots in it were the 501st troops. So dumb. Don't hate me. No one hates you, man. It's okay. We forgive you. You were talking about fond Lego childhood memories. Yeah. What's up, Marty Bricks? We're having some familiar faces who haven't been around in a while, pop in today. I love it. I don't see... Do you like so... Oh my god! Lego Soldier again! He says, hashtag Bela Sakira. Dude, Bela Sakira. If there were ever someone worthy of being the comment in a $40 super chat, it is absolutely Bela Sakira. Shout out to Bela Sakira. Dude, thank you so much. Lego Soldier 2 is, has taken the lead in the, the donation standings and literally, like, run away with it. <laughs> I'm telling you, what, whoever ends up being, like, I'm th maybe, like, the top two or three people who end up don having donated the most, I'll do something, like, very special for you guys. 
can we get a donation war? I don't know if that's a battle you guys want want to have with a uh, Lego soldier. <laughs> but dude, honestly, thank you so much, man. It really means a lot. Vardos is absolutely huge. I can barely see behind it. Yeah, that's like there's so many there's so many buildings that are being built that is not only is it hard for you to see me, but it's hard for me to like work on this because like if you imagine imagine if I'm building something like in here, right? I have to like reach my arm through here and I have to be careful not to hit stuff. Like it's kind of difficult. Lego Soldier D two, dude. Thank you so much, man. Bricks and stuff says Rich Boy J. What is your favorite underrated Lego channel? That's a good question. Um. I would honestly say the brick was is I mean he, he he has like 4K subs so he's I wouldn't describe him as a small channel really anymore but I mean he he deserves maybe more attention than he has so I'll put him up there. <laughs> Jay is actually just really short. Yeah, I want to be completely honest with you guys. I am only five foot one. That was a lie. I'm not five foot one. But um, as otherwise, for underrated channels, I really do like Galactic Bricks. Um, not with an X, but Bricks with a CKS. He, I, I think that I really do like his the way he films his updates. He did Kessel recently. So yeah, shout out to him. Shout out to Galactic Bricks. I would describe his channel as pretty hot. What camera do I use to film and stream? To stream, I use a Logitech C920. It's just a 1080p webcam. For videos, I use a, a, Can a Nikon. Well, I can't almost said Canon. My camera is definitely not a Canon. I use a Nikon. Um, forget the name of it. What is it? I'll grab. It, it should be. It's somewhere around here. I use a DSLR. Jay, I wish I could give you that third leg I was talking about on the other stream and maybe some other stuff too. Oh yeah, dude, send me a message on Instagram. We can talk about that if you're really interested in making a contribution. I have to thank you and MNR Productions. I've been on a buying spree lately for Lego. I walked away from it for a long time, but you guys really made me like Lego again, so thank you. I am glad that we can make a positive change in your life. It is our pleasure. Aren't you going to add and it and it, what? Oh, and Aiden Versio. I thought you were making like an Anakin joke, like Anadin Versio, whatever. Anyways, yeah, I am. So glad I got that Inferno Squad battle pack, guys. Man, how great is that? How great is the fact that while I'm working on this Battlefront 2 mock, a mock that I consider to be from a pretty obscure planet, right? Like, most Star Wars fans probably haven't played the Vardos level on Star Wars Battlefront 2, but right as I'm working on it, Lego releases an Inferno Squad battle pack. That is literally the clutchest thing ever. So, thank you, Lego, so much. Appreciate that, Kit the Tigs. That Inferno Squad battle pack is absolutely heavenly. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm glad you guys. I, I, I'd say I'm. I'm guessing you guys like the review that I did on it. I wouldn't really. I don't really like to do too many reviews. I just it's not something I really want to kind of get myself into with this channel. Just because I really I feel like you know like you have to be very timely with it. And as someone who I buy all my Lego sets from the Lego store, so I I am forced pretty much to like get my sets the day they're supposed to come out, which means I can't really be competitive in getting review videos out, you know, early before, you know, the sets are supposed to be on shelves. So the fact that that video is doing pretty well, I, I want to say, you know, thanks to anyone who checked it out, and I'm glad you guys liked it. Favorite non-UCS original trilogy set? Um... That's a good question. That's a really good question. Because I don't... I have no obvious answer to that. I don't know off the top of my head. I'll have to give it a little bit more thought. But I'll tell you one that definitely comes to mind. The um, second Cantina set that we got. The one that came with the Cantina. The Dubak. 
the land speeder. That was, I thought, a really great set. Came with the Bith musicians as well. Very nice, complete Cantina set. So I, I do actually really like that set. JC says, I have a Lego store an hour away in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Jeez, I really do feel sorry for you guys who who have Lego stores, who don't have like local Lego stores. Because the review was great. It's different from other reviews like Jane Bricks other big reviewers. Only thing is it was a bit long. Started skipping parts. Yeah, that was, that was, I realized that. And I ended up cutting out actually a lot of stuff. And I realized this is still really long for something that's just a battle pack. But I feel like I just had so much to say about it, you know, just because, because it was the Inferno Squad battle pack. And of course I'd been waiting for it for so long. And, you know, I, I knew enough about the story of the characters to be able to give a decent amount of backstory to it. But I, I totally understand that. It was it was definitely much longer than I would have liked for it to have been. Tan Bricks, what country are you in? Can we get a rap collab with Jay and Ganage? If you guys can... If, I, if if Jane Bricks knows that I exist, I would love to do a rap collab with him. New Zealand. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I know the Lego situation over there is not great. All right, finally got these two columns right here. That is great news for me. <laughs> Austin Turley, do you think the Target Exclusive Sand Speeder is a bad set like a lot of other people do? No, um, yeah. at first I thought you meant the Land Speeder, but the Sand Speeder, yeah, I think it's a pretty bad set. I don't like the way, I don't like the way the, the, the design of the Lego Snow Speeder build, so anything that uses that, I don't really care for. It's also such a random set. Like, I really just do not understand why they made that. Not to mention that the helmets now are outdated, which makes it even less valuable of a set. But yeah, I, I live basically within an hour of three different Lego stores. All right. Probably a difficult question, but do you have a favorite Lego piece? Yeah, the 2x2 two two tile. But he says his is the T-bar. Yeah, dude, that pneumatic um, piece is fantastic. Everett says, "Good, great job with those columns. Thank you very much. Yeah, Creed, I, I talked about that a little bit in the review. Like, it didn't really make sense that... Like, they, they went out of their way to give them three unique faces, but none of them were of the actual characters. Like, I don't I didn't understand that. It says, three Lego stores, where are all three in Houston? Yeah, the Galleria Lego store, Woodlands Lego store, and Baybrook Lego store. It's a concept of a ship um, in the Battle of Jakku. Yeah, I knew what they, what they were going for, but it was just... It, 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 it's The problem is that it didn't never appeared in anything. Like, it wasn't in a game. It wasn't in a film. Like, it was just such a weird set for them to make. Are you wearing socks right now? Be honest. That is a personal question. I don't feel comfortable ask, answering that. All right. All 
All right. Pretty hot. All right. So we got those columns built up. I'm trying to think of what else I can do on stream. Because I have to build the backs of these buildings, but it's not really something I can do on stream. I, I need to go get a bunch of parts. Closest Lego store to me I know of is in Leeds. How far away is that from you? Why do you have five Porgs in almost every update? Um, I've just been collecting the Lego Porgs, and I usually will like show them off during stream, so they just kind of chill on Vardos. Whenever I actually... like. You know, start putting more stuff and details on the landing platform. I'll take them off. I just like it. Do I think a Star Wars horror film could be what pulled off well? No, not at all. What's your opinion on the Inferno Squad PS4 edition? I honestly had no idea. That they, they made an Inferno Squad PS4. I had no idea that they did that. Makes sense, but I didn't know it existed. Joshua, don't you mean it's time for you to ship the pizza to me? Number one Star Wars set you want, not a remake. Um, I mean, honestly, it's a it would be a remake, but I want a Tantive Four set. I, Gary and I were talking about this, and we were like, you know, there's been rumors for a Tantive Four, but what if it ends up just being like a Tantive Three? They're just like, yeah, let's let's do a blue one. Let's just let's just do that. Jad Bob says, what do you do? What do you and Garrett do when the Lego store is dead and no one is there? We talk about Star Wars and we talk trash about the prequels. Do I have a pet? And what is my favorite animal? I do not have a pet. My favorite animal is the Habibor from Jakku. If I could have any Lego set for free, what would I want? I'll go to the UCS Falcon. It's the most expensive one. Um, I have not seen the Vader fan film, though. I watched, like, a few seconds. I watched, like, 10 or 20 seconds of it. When's the next Asperger's Boy? Jay, it'll, come up, it'll go up tomorrow. You guys will definitely want to check it out. I think Tan Bricks will especially like that episode. And he'll know exactly why. What's up, Mini Big Brick Productions? What's up, Oblivious Stormtrooper? Preston Cooper back in the house. Lots of people coming in. What's up, guys? Hello, boyos says, I watched the film. It was pretty cool. Waiting on episode two. Okay. Glad you guys. Yeah, everyone I talked to has pretty much liked it. They enjoyed it. I just, I don't know. Just, I just don't really have an interest in seeing a Vader fan film. Like, I'd literally rather watch a Star Wars film about anything else. I've just seen so much Vader in Star Wars. I've seen enough Vader. Lego needs to start adding rare figure poly bags and sets again. Someone found the gold, gold chrome C3PO in the Battle of Endor set and the chrome silver stormtroopers in a battle pack. I really wish I would have been like more into trying to collect those because I was definitely buying sets when that happened. I just, I, I mean, I, I feel like I saw the promotion, but I was just kind of like, oh, whatever. I don't really care about that. And I didn't like, you know, make an effort to try to buy a bunch of sets to see if I can get them, so... That kind of sucked. What do you think of a UCS ATAP in a few years with Bly and his troops? That'd be awesome. Be cool to get Bly. Oh, here. Let's see. How many cups of studs do you have? Like, trans blue studs? I don't know. I have a lot, but they're not in cups. They're in bags. 
Oh, that's actually kind of dope. That is actually pretty cool. I like that. How much does it cost when you order all these parts? Because the day I was on Brickly, I went to order 223 parts. It ended up costing $25. How do you order thousands of parts? I never. I only order like that many parts when I'm building a vehicle. Um, for this mock, I never ordered that. I never really ordered that many parts all at once. What do I think David's next mock is? So I didn't, I didn't, so somewhere in his video, he apparently said like, he wants the next mock to be tall. He wants to build up so it doesn't take up so much space. Is that correct? Jay is the UCS slave one retired set now. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, uh, so if it's gonna be tall, I don't know. I don't know it. I don't know. Like, I don't have to think very deeply about that. It's gonna be a single Camino platform. Oh, you know what it's gonna be? It's gonna be the table on the table. He's gonna build like the surface of a Death Star, and he's gonna build a really big Super Star Destroyer vertically. Crashing into it. There you go. That's what it's going to be. Do I think Lego should bring back the Old Republic or some Mandalorian sets? Now, by Mandalorian sets, do you mean the Mandalorian sets from the show? Or just sets of with Mandalorians in them? David's next mock is going to be one really tall tree from Endor with, like, Ewoks in it. What's the orange for? I didn't know if you could see that. It's just filler. This? Here's a question for you guys. Would you guys really be interested in, like, a big Vader's castle mock? Like, I agree Vader's castle looks cool. I just feel like we don't see enough of it in the film to really warrant making a giant mock out of it. Like, it would just be big, but you couldn't really do much with the inside because we don't see much of the inside. Whoa. How long did it take you to design the ATM-6 on LED? Uh, I think, like, a couple weeks, if I remember correctly. What about a Vader's Castle mech? I don't really like mechs in general. Some people are like really into mechs, but I just, I don't, they don't mean much to me to be quite honest. Colt, just like a bird. Have I tried Stud.io? It's another digital, I've built with it, but it was very slow on my... It wasn't very slow. It was just not as fast as LDD. I like LED. LDD works just fine for me. Do I have a Flickr? Yeah. Um, Flickr.com slash J-H-A-E Lego. Drop them bars, Jay. Bro, you know I got more bars than the candy store. You should make a scale resistance bomber mock. I would actually love to do that. Am I going to do more story videos? Yeah. I'll do them as I think of more stories to tell. Rich Boy J, when you sell mock instructions, do you send the LED model or make instructions? I'll sell the LED files, but basically break them down into sections where the instructions that LED makes will actually make sense, if you know what I mean. 
Can I send you some alternate lyrics to Cold Like Hoth that I wrote last June? Yeah, why not? Go for it. Do I think Lego should make a UCS Zeta class shuttle? That would be really cool. It personally wouldn't really make a difference to me because I built Renegade clones, so I have one, but like it would be a cool set for them to make for sure. Faux show. Put the ATM6 on the landing pad. Nah. I still need to rebuild that thing. It's not really broken, but it's not in the best condition right now. All right, I gotta stand back up. And yes, Vardos is in Battlefront too. Thank you, Galactic Bricks. I had no idea Galactic Bricks was verified. Congratulations, that's awesome. Mom and Ryan Production, <laughs> why? How much longer for the stream do you plan on taking this mock to a convention? Um, I don't know, maybe 30 more minutes for the stream. As for taking this to a convention, unfortunately I won't be able to. Biggest hindrance is the fact that because of it's so, because of all the lights and the wiring underneath it, it would just be very difficult for me to take this thing in sections. So I figure, and also the timing just doesn't really work. By the time conventions start coming up, I want to have started on my next project, and I would like to take that to conventions. So I'll get some good pictures of this thing, and then we'll move on without it. Sixty-six likes. Okay, no one liked the stream. We're at sixty-six. That is an ideal number of likes. Thank you so much, Jace. It is really nice that people seem to be taking pretty well to this mock. When I first started it, I was like, you know, I hope it can, you know, get at least a little bit of popularity, considering that. Probably not a lot of people have played the game, but this is doing better than I ever would have imagined it would, so that's great news that you guys do like it. Did I go to the Lego convention in Houston last year? I missed it. Uh, are you talking about the Brick, Brick Fair, Brick Fest Live? No, I did not. That's my favorite set from 2018, UCS Cloud City. Oh, I'm sorry, MBS Cloud City. What minifigs am I planning on using? A lot of Stormtroopers, Inferno Squad Battle Pack, some custom, like, Inferno Squad, I mean, some custom Vardo Citizens, and everyone who ends up have, having donated enough to get into the, the mock. So, I think that's pretty comprehensive.
Thrawn says, never heard of this planet before seeing this mock, but it's one of my favorite mocks I've seen. See that? I, fe I felt like a lot of people would kind of end up in that position. And, and it is really cool that I have done a decent enough job building this to where even though it's not something people are familiar with, they end up really liking it. So I'm glad you feel that way, buddy. Am I coming to Brick Fair, Virginia 2019? Am I, could I bring Vardos? So yes, I will be at Brick Fair. Unfortunately, no, I will not bring Vardos. Vardos will be long gone by the time Brick Fair rolls around. But hey, like Kylo Ren says, let the past die. Kill it if you have to. Boyo Lounge looks insanely lonely. How many people are in there? That's a good question. I don't know. How many people... Is it 50 bucks? I think maybe three have actually like reached the threshold. Maybe four. I don't know. I'll check it out. The Boyo Lounge is an exclusive club, guys. Not everyone can get in. Oh my god. Lego soldier coming through in the clutch. Wow. Holy crap. Lego soldier is donated enough to personally sponsor putting like three or four people in the Boyo Lounge. Donation Wars 501st rap or cold like off. I did code like off last time, so I could do the 501st rep. Dude, oh my god. At this rate, <laughs> Lego Soldier is going to have like an entire group of like an entire entourage in the Boyo Lounge. Dude, thank you so much. Wow, I don't even know what to say. You could have bought a droid gunship. <laughs> Does he just randomly come into the stream? I think he he started he's been watching for a while. I think he just like recently made an account. Um but now he, he was he's been pretty active on the last few streams. How much do I typically spend on mocks if I had to guess? That's so I can't even guess. I have no idea. What's up, the stud? Whenever Ryan says what's up studs, this guy is who he's talking about. The Lego soldier, thank you so much. Oh my god. How many commanders are in the Boyle Lounge so far? Um, I checked the standings. I think there's like four people who have like gotten into that level. He says, yeah, I make this YouTube account. You inspire me to share my Lego Star Wars passion on YouTube. I'm glad I could do that. But we need more people to, to be doing that. So if I can inspire someone to walk that path and that makes me very happy what happens if you donate a grand oh my god i don't even know if someone legitimately donated a grand i would i would do whatever they'd ask so if we donate 50 we get a minifig in the mock uh you get a minifig in the boyo room for 50 the boyo lounge um i think for 15 dollars you that is sufficient to get a minifigure Somewhere in the mock. The Boyle Lounge is going to be like heavily highlighted in the, uh, in the video. So that's kind of the incentive. 
It'll be the Boyle. Imagine the Boyle Lounge is like the Hall of Fame for this mock, if that makes sense. Build a sculpture of the donor. Oh my, that'd be a bit much. Maybe I'd do that. If someone donated a thousand dollars, I would build. I wouldn't build an entire sculpture because that would be worth a lot more than a thousand bucks. I would build them like a statue of themselves, maybe like this big. There you go. That there's your incentive, guys. Make it happen. Thousand dollars on the stream. Do it. You know what? I might actually do that. Okay, so here's here's what I'll you know I'll talk about it on the next update video. That's my mom back there. Um, people are every, anytime someone walks behind me, they're like, "Who's that behind you?" So <laughs> that's my mom. But um. You know what I might do? So, like, right above... No, I'll talk about it on the, the next update. Guys, watch the next update video. I actually have a really cool idea for what I want to do for the, the the top donor of the of the series. It says you should throw a small Lego store in Vardos as, like, an Easter egg. I kind of considered that. The only thing was we did that with Scarif. So I didn't want to just do do it again, you know? Does my mom like Lego building? Unfortunately not. God has entered the chat. Hey, Jay, would you make a Clone Wars mock? Yes, yes I would. Have I experienced rep members of Rebel Lug? Do you think they're nice or recommend joining? Yeah, Rebel Lug is great. I feel like I hang out with them every convention I go to and Obviously, you know, it's the, the premier Lego Star Wars like, so if you can get into it, then absolutely, that you're in good shape. Am I in a lug? Yeah, I'm in a, my, a local lug. It's called Tex Lug Houston. I'm loving the mock Battlefront 2 campaign changed my opinion on Star Wars. The mock makes me happy, and when Lego released the set, I jumped out of my chair and ran to the store. I, there was eight. I bought them all. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was so excited when I learned they were making that, that uh, Inferno Squad battle pack. 8Ball says, dude, you are amazing. Thank you. The chat's moving so fast right now. How many people are in the chat right now? I'm trying to, like, do a good job of mixing, building, and reading with the chat. There's just so many messages coming through, which is definitely not a bad thing. I would certainly prefer this over, like, no one being here. So thank thanks to everyone who comes through and hangs out with the boyos on the chat. I would consider making a lug one day. It says 55 people. Oh my god. It says do the Jatorian guard mods get sick figs. Wait, 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 wait. Do the Jatorian guard mods get sick figs or do you have to donate? Um, oh, the, the, the oh, I see what you mean. Okay, it took me a while to figure out what you were saying. Uh, that's a great question. I feel like I'll, I should continue the, uh, I don't know. I have to think about that. I'm not sure. My instincts tell me like, yeah, like I'll, I should definitely, you know, show support to the mods by putting them in the mock. So I guess, yeah, the, the mods will still, will be, will be in the, in the mock. Only the active ones though. Like I'm sure Bailey's bricks is still a mod, but he obviously, even if I put him in this mock, he would never find out. <laughs> so I'll put active mods in the mock. <laughs> Love what you do, Jay. How many Jedi and Clone Trooper battle packs did you get? I think I have like 12 or 13. I, I would love to get more. But um, yeah, I love that battle pack. Phase 1 clones are my favorite clones. So super excited that they did that. Do I think I'll add an escape pod module to my Millennium Falcon front like in Solo? No. My Falcon is definitely not the solo version. In fact, my Falcon, if you like, if you're being specific, my Falcon is really like the sequel version of the Falcon. So it just really wouldn't really make sense. I would just build an entirely other Falcon if I wanted to do that. But hey, that's maybe a mock for another day. Build another big Falcon. Star Wars Brick 75. Look at this. He says, 
Working my way towards the Royal Lounge. Love the progress. Any chance you would do a large mock combined with other YouTubers, like each building a section and bring it together at a convention? So I would actually love to do that. Whenever I met uh, David Hall, we kind of talked about that. And of course, Brick was, we always talk about doing that. But no, absolutely. We, like, we would love to do something like that. I think that like once episode nine gets finished up, because I'm pretty sure that we'll all end up doing some type of episode nine mock. Which kind of, you know, gives us... Which means that our mock schedule for the near future isn't exactly free. But I'm, I'm thinking, like, between the big movie releases, when they're not doing, you know, like, episode an episodic movie, we'll have the opportunity to actually do something like that, which will be pretty fun, I think. So I would absolutely love to do that. But thank you so much for the donation, man. Can you include my sig fig in your mock? It's a plain stormtrooper. If you don't, it's fine. I have to consider it, man. I don't know, man. That'll be a lot of effort for me, so I really have to think about it. it says the old mods all are all gone. Crate mods, where are they at? Um, I still have the ones that I built. I still have the figures of them. Any advice on building the internal structure of large Lego vehicles? Technic, technic, technic. You can't go wrong with technic. That's what I would. That's what I would do. Meme review. What happened? What happened to what? Fives says I'm an old mod. Yeah, Fives, you absolutely have a figure. I still have the Fives figure. I'm pretty sure I, I put yours together. What weird illegal building techniques do you use, like snot? I, mean, I pretty much everything I build is snot. Like, I feel like once you just start building snot a lot, like it end up, and it really ends up just being your default. Um, building style, I would say. But, uh, yeah, I build a lot of snot. What happened to all the crate fans like Drink Tea? Drink Tea! So I'll tell you exactly what happened to Drink Tea. Drink Tea apparently got a girlfriend, which is why he doesn't show up that often anymore. But, um, yeah, I don't know where all the rest of them are. Craig was really just like a wave, you know. There, there were certain people who really were on this channel because of Crate, and then whenever we finished Crate, I, I especially, I, I don't think it really helped my channel whenever Garrett and I broke Crate on, on the live stream. I think a lot of people just saw that and were like, well, it's all over, so there's no reason for me to, like, look at this YouTube channel anymore. So that was a little unfortunate, but, um, yeah, a lot of those, those Crate peeps aren't here. It's weird to think that, I don't know, because I've been doing, like, Lego YouTube for over a year now. That's weird to think about. Um, they, like, there's probably people who have, like, gotten into, like, Lego or maybe were into Lego and just aren't really into it anymore. So, yeah. Thank you, Kid the Takes. Thanks to all of you who have stood by this channel does drink tea making excuses? I got a girlfriend and I keep my priorities straight. I really appreciate that. I feel like this stream is just going to devolve to people bragging about their girlfriends. What film or show is your and Garrett's next mock going to be based on? I can't tell you that. It's going to be a surprise. It'll be a surprise. <laughs> Do I ever feel weird that you can see me and I can't see you? Not really. I've streamed for so long at this point that it just it feels normal. He says, don't mean to flex. No, you were definitely flexing, bro. I already know. It's all good, though. Congratulations. You earned it. By having a girlfriend, you earned the right to flex. What's up, Jet Bricks? If I had a girlfriend in kindergarten. Sure, that counts. I'm looking for my like bracket pieces. I don't know if they're in here, which is kind of disappointing. I have a girlfriend, it's called a two by four. Nice. Are you almost out of dark fluish gray bricks? Uh, I was at one point, but I've acquired more since then.
Did I ever build that micro scale crate? Did I agree to do that at some point? It says 501st wrap. You actually want me to do the 501st wrap? I'll do it. Here, I'll, I'll throw on a beat. You are the top donor for the chat, for the stream, so you can... The least I can do is do the 501st wrap. Actually, I wanted to do it last stream, but I don't know if I have the beat on this computer anymore. I might have to just go acapella. Full volume. I just put on the actual song. If only money grew on trees, I could donate 1K to J. And then I would build my five statue. Bless. Bless. Call me Nas cause I'm a boss. Fable, 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 fable first. Fable, 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 fable first. Fable. I just wanna fable, fable, fable first. Battle pack. I already got a ATRT and a Captain Rex. If they made a 501 first battle pack, I'd have to buy them all so I can build a Clone Wars mock like David Hall. I just want a 50501 first battle pack. I already got a ATRT and a Captain Rex. If they made a 501 first battle pack, I'd have to buy them all so I can build a Clone Wars mock like David Hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All we ever wanted was a 501st. Five oh first. Five oh first, yeah. All we ever wanted was a 501st. Five oh first. Five oh first, yeah. The Clone Wars variant, yeah, that just won't work. Oh no, oh no. Will they ever learn? Will they ever learn? A 501st battle pack is what I want, hey. That's why I had to go ahead and make the song, hey. I swear that Lego's making us way too long, hey. So if you want this battle pack and sing along, hey. Yeah, that, that way. way. I want the 501st today. Yeah, that, that way. way. I want it right now and I can't wait. I'm going into deep depression. Only one 501st in my collection. Got a ton of first order crew, but that just ain't as impressive. I just no. wanna 50501 first battle pack. I already got a ATRT and a Captain Rex. If they made a 501st battle pack, I'd have to buy them all so I can build a Clone Wars mock like David Hall. I just want a 50501 first battle pack. I already got a ATRT and a Captain Rex. If they made a 501st battle pack, I'd have to buy them all so I can build a Clone Wars mock like David Hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All we ever wanted was a 501st. 501st, yeah. All we ever wanted was a 501st. 501st, yeah. The Clone Wars variant, yeah, that just won't work. Oh no, oh no. Will they ever learn? Will they ever learn? 501st Clone Trooper, yeah, that's what I like. I don't want a clone unless it got the blue stripe. Strike. My mama bought me plain clones for my birthday party. Really I wanted 501st, so I hit them with a sharp, sharp, sharp. We wanted face to Cody, yeah, I know y'all all remember. But instead, all we got was a construction figure. Bruh. Back in the day, anyone can build an army cheap. But nowadays, a 501st troops cost for bucks a piece. Cha -ching. They won't make a 501st back in, I don't get it. I don't. But they keep making all these clones that are non existent. What's up with that? It's tragic how we're begging for it and they won't listen. Just give us 501st and all will be forgiven. It's really simple, man. All we want is a 501st battle pack, man. It's really not that hard. We already got the mold. You already got most of the print. Let's go ahead and slap the blue. Fable first battle pack, man. So the funny thing about that rap is I actually like was planning on doing it before Ryan kind of made this whole like Fable first battle pack campaign. Like I had come up with I had come up with like the chorus in my head and I was like, I'm definitely gonna make this song one day. And then once he really started like pushing hard for it, I was like, well, now this is the perfect time for me to actually do the song. And I'm glad I did because it seemed like a lot of people uh, liked it. I was honestly surprised at how popular it got. Like, I, th I thought, honestly, I personally thought Cold Like Hoth was better, but the 501st song got far more views than that did. So, yeah. It was actually Lego Star Wars. Memes. Well, Lego Star Wars means. I guess made that initial comment that got deleted, but I, I would say Ryan probably did the most work to make it kind of a viral thing, you know? 
You should add a little sewer on the side. I've actually considered that. I'm not sure if I'll end up doing it, but I definitely have thought about that. Jay, when you first saw the Infernal Squad Battle Pack, <laughs> did you say that would make a fine addition to my collection? Yes. That is exactly what I said. I want a Coruscant Guard Battle Pack. We already got that. The Senate Guards? Is that what you... I'm pretty sure that's what you mean. says, if you make a Clone Wars mock, you just have to have fives there in honor of me. But you're not fives anymore. You're just Joshua. Commander Creed says, the Red Boys. What? I have no clue. I don't know what you're talking about. Send me a picture on Instagram because I, no, I, I, like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Can I offer some tips on builders trying out snot? Oh, boy. I just just look at I don't know there's nothing I can I would have to like think really hard because a lot of the stuff I feel like I just kind of do it's hard for me to sit down and think like okay if someone wanted to build snot this is exactly what they should do if you really want to like talk about that I'd say message me on Instagram and we can maybe dive a little deeper into that well I include beach troopers in this mock you just have to wait and see there were beach troopers in the Scarif mock we did, however. <laughs> Do you have any advice on making a resistance bomber mock? Um, I would really like to see one with the full interior, meaning not only like the cabin slash cockpit area, but also where the bombs are. Okay, so after I did that wrap, how many... How many people are watching the stream right now? How bad was the damage? I love how, like, when I started doing the rap, there are people who, like, I, I hadn't even seen type anything in the chat, and they were just like, yeah, nope, I'm out. 55. Okay, cool. Awesome. That's cool with me. 50s is a good place to be. Speaking of my mock, have you seen it yet, Jay? It's Jango Fett hunting a Twilight Jedi on the lower levels. No, I have not. How have I not seen that? That sounds awesome. Bro, send it to me. Jay says he's making an at, -AT the same size as mine. That's awesome. Do you have any picks? All right. Good night, the stud. Are you still planning on using all 2019 Stormtroopers for the mock? Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. I just don't think I'm going to be able to collect enough between now and then, so... That kind of sucks, but I'll get over it. What are the point of short troopers besides looking cool since there are stormtroopers on Scarif? I have no idea. I feel that way about most of the new troops that we end up getting. Like, most of them look cool, but, like, what's the point? Like, did we really need that? All right, good night, Cooper Schaffner. Thanks for coming through. Marketing, yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's literally for marketing and merchandising. Toys, yeah, exactly. How many ports are you at now? I'm thinking you mean porgs. I still just have five. Oh, this is so annoying. Things I hate doing. Having to remove curved bricks from, uh, or curved slopes from things. Like, is there a bigger pain with Lego trying to remove curved slopes?
Last Jedi or Attack of the Clone? Look at that has to be a joke. Says Jay, I think what Creed meant was the shock trooper. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, I got you. I don't think those are technically Senate guards, though, are they? Fives, that looks awesome, dude. I just dropped you a like. Dude, great job. Poor Jedi, though. Regular Stormtrooper armor is subjective, blah, 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 blah. Well, I put Lego YouTubers like yourself, David, Garrett, underneath the Inferno Squad helmets. No, I'll keep it. I, would, I mean, if I did that, the problem is, like, no one would know who we were because we'd be under the helmets. So, I'll put all of us famous folk in more obvious places. We'll probably all be hanging out in the Boyo Lounge, honestly. Welcome back, Ace Gamer Studios. What's my Insta? It's just Rich Boy J. Jay, do you build freeform at all? By freeform, do you mean... So someone asked me this a while back, and I didn't really understand what they mean, but someone told me that they meant not on a base plate. Is that what you mean? What's up, Leviathan Salvatore? What's up, Christopher Grace? Do I follow the T-Fall community on YouTube, like the modular channels and whatnot? Mm, there's one person I watch. They have, they're building like a Lego city. I forget their name, though. Um, outside of Star Wars, I don't follow too many Lego Star Wars. I mean, <laughs> Lego channels. He didn't say Senate Guard. He said Coruscant Guard. Yeah, that's what I said. I thought... Okay, I see what you mean. I guess that's true, because even in the Clone Wars, like, the shot troopers were Coruscant. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. I see what you mean. Sorry, Creed. If I could have a role in a Star Wars film, what would I want it to be? I would want to be... I would want to be Grumgar. I would want to be Grumgar. Um, okay, so, honestly, no. I've never built not on a base plate. Base plates are convenient. What if that port go down the stairs? Don't say that. You're going to scare me. Have I debated making the 15,000 piece Star Destroyer Avenger? Um, it's a really cool build, but I, I don't think I'd build it. If I did build it, I probably wouldn't do the interior. Like, it's cool, it's just... I don't know, I, I, I don't see myself opening that thing up too often. It's going to be so difficult for me to come up with a title for this week's update because I've literally worked on everything. Like, everything is, has changed. You guys can't really see much, but uh, you can see I really, I mean, I got a lot of work done on the top of this building. I started the building right next to it on the other side. I worked on stuff over here. I don't want my Star Wars cameo to be me dressed as a random alien drinking a couple <laughs> drinking with a couple toilet girls in a bar. So basically, you'd want to be um, Ahmed Best and the Tatooine. I'm mean the Tatooine, the Coruscant bar.
Jedi business. Go back to your drinks. Imagine you're at, like at the bar, and some dude, be- some girl behind you gets her hand cut off, and then some dude in a robe walks up and he's just like, "Jedi business. Go back to your drinks." Honestly, I would dip. For anyone who's played Lego Star Wars, there's the one scene when Obi Wan cuts off um, Hondo Baba's hand, and then there's like the random like bystander who like just chugs all of his whatever he's drinking and then just runs away. I would be that guy. That's who I would be. I'd buy death sticks then dip. Jedi orders does what we have to. Okay, Jedi Bob, I don't know why, but whenever you donate it with a super chat, the picture that pops up is your old picture, the not Christmas one. But when you do your normal chat, it's still a Christmas one. Tell us now. Oh God. Who would win, Jedi Bob or Coleman Trevor? Coleman Trevor's the weakest Jedi ever. Like seriously though. I guess he missed that day at Jedi School when they taught you how to deflect lasers with your lightsaber. But seriously, like... So, here, here's what we're going to go do now. It's been a long stream, guys. And you knew I couldn't end the stream without going to the most popular conversation topic that we always have here. And that is, of course, bashing the prequels. So I was watching episode two the other day, and let's let's talk about something, because maybe you guys can shed some light on this. Now, in episodes three in Clone Wars, you would be led to believe that R2-D2 and Anakin Skywalker have a really, like, deep relationship, right? Like, there's the one episode where Anakin literally goes out of the way and gets a lot of people in trouble to, like, try to save R2 whenever there's, like, the, the gold droid... But in episode two, which was obviously, you know, right before the Clone Wars, Anakin wasn't even, like, with R2 at the beginning of the film. R2 was still with Padme. R2 ends up just kind of tagging along on their adventure, but, like, R2, D2, and Anakin Skywalker don't have any, like, meaningful scenes together in that film. I don't think, I don't even think, like, Anakin ever acknowledges R2 other than the scene when he makes the joke and says, like, oh, we'll be fine because R2-D2 is with us. So then my question, then, is why do they have so much of, like, a strong relationship in episode... The Clone Wars, really, and someone in episode 3. In episode 3, R2 is this droid for some reason. When in the film, like, in episode 2, they literally have, like, no connection to each other. Everyone says, I think Padme gave R2 to Anakin as a wedding gift. Really? Oh, the 2003 Clone Wars. Okay, but that's like, that's not canon anymore, though. But you get my point, right? Like, they just, like, if you, if you just watch the films and take the films for what they are, and even the Clone Wars, all the canon material, it's just like... Why is R2 why, why do R2 and Anakin have this strong relationship? Like it literally just comes out of nowhere. Like us as fans we look back and it's like, "Oh yeah, R2, that's that's Anakin's joy. They're they're totally buddies." But like if you look at the films leading up to it, we never see that relationship develop. 
That would be like if Ray never met BB-8 in episode, uh, that would be like, how can I, how can I say it? Like, like Ray, like we see Ray and bb 8s relationship form when they meet on Jack Who, right? So if Ray and BB-8 went and had an adventure, you would reasonably say like, oh yeah, like they have chemistry together. They know each other. They're, they're cool with each other. But like Anakin and R2 had, have none of that. And then moving on to, so Commander Creed says R2 is probably assigned to Anakin after Attack of the Clones and it'll have a close relationship at the start of the Clone Wars series. I mean, yeah, that's a good way. Like we can just say that that's what happened, but the problem is like, that's not how it was written. The, like, the, the problem is, like, the movies don't show that. And just my, the second part of this is, and this is, I think, the even stronger argument. C-3PO, obviously, George Lucas decided, yeah, Anakin built him. Why not? So, obviously, whenever Anakin goes to be a Jedi in episode one, he leaves C-3PO back with his mom when anakin comes back c-3po recognizes him he's still hanging out with the, the lars family and with literally no explanation in the film for whatever reason anakin is allowed to just take c-3po back with him whenever they go to geonosis like did, did he did, like did he legitimately steal him did, did he did Kleeg not notice i would guess that like they probably kept him around for a reason and they decided to give him armor for a reason, right? Like, they, they I mean, they, they went ahead and, you know, finished him off. They gave him his full exterior, so clearly they saw some sort of value in him. Yet Anakin literally just steals him. Like, with no explanation, whenever they leave, it's just like, oh, I guess C-3PO is on this ship with us. Point being, the prequels are awful. George Lucas tried way too hard to make the two droids important in those films and it ended up being very forced he says it's anakin protocol droids he built him 3po belongs to anakin yeah but like but think about that like okay think about how many things were in that house that maybe anakin that belonged to anakin but at that point like the lars family had been around c3po longer than anakin ever had so like why do you think like why was he able to just take c3po with him Like, think about it from the point of view of, like, the Lars family, like, right? Like, obviously that droid was probably around them and helping them out. Like, do you think they would have, like, agreed to just let Anakin ride off with him? And then, moving forward, why does Owen Lars then not recognize C-3PO when he purchases him in Star Wars Episode Four? He tells him his name is C-3PO. Yet at no point is it ever like, oh, I remember I had a droid named C-3PO or anything like that. And that concludes my essay on why the prequels are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Jedi Bob says, stop bashing the prequels and bash the sequels. He says, is this a really big detail to be focused on, though? It doesn't seem that crazy that he was able to take the droid with him that he built. Okay, fine. Like, I'm... The problem with it is George Lucas has not set enough of a precedent to where he shows us that he, like, he thinks about these things. My impression is he was like, oh, well, we have to get C-3PO and R2-D2 together Somehow, so let's just sneak him on the ship and just we'll just have him take take off with him. No big deal. He says Lars probably didn't care. He just wanted droids to help him around, not bond with a droid. Yeah, I don't. I, I doubt he bonded with a droid. We we don't really see that too much. Like we're just pe casual people in Star Wars. But like, if it was like helping them around the house, why would they? Why would they let him go? Like, if you think about it from the, from their perspective, like, they have this droid here that helps them around the house. Regardless if Anakin builds him or not, like, Anakin left him behind. So at that point, like, yeah, it's theirs. They, they've they spent more time with him than, any, than Anakin did. We 
Rich Boy J says, Episode 4 was more than 20 years after Attack of the Clones. 3PO also had new plating. I doubt I'd recognize C-3PO. All protocol droids seem to act similar. But from what we've seen in Star Wars, all protocol droids have unique names. So if it was, like, he, he says he's C-3PO. So why would he not, he, would, he should know he's, C, like, that C-3PO. They also, like, from what we've seen, like, protocol droids have unique voices. Does that mean Anakin could have bought or built them a new droid, like, off-screen? The problem is, like, that's the... Oh, sorry. So here's the problem. Too many things like that happen in the prequels, where it's, like, there's this really big thing that happens, and you're just kind of forced to accept it. Jedi Bob. No, you're not going to turn this into a sequel bashing stream. We're going to talk about the prequels. Because these are big plot holes. These are plot holes. Everyone says, did C-3PO tell Owen his name? Um, I'm pretty sure he does. He says, I'm C-3PO, human cyborg relations. And then he's like, no, I just need someone who can work on the, uh, the, uh, the condensers. And then he's like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I've, I used to do that. I love how, like, you guys come so quickly to the defense of the... Like, if I was having the same conversation, but instead I was, like, ba actually bashing the sequels, I doubt there would be as many of you who are like, oh, no, it probably happened off-screen, or, like, making excuses for it. Which is fine. You guys are allowed to feel however you want about Star Wars. I'm just saying, we gotta be fair here. These are big plot holes, guys. Big plot holes. Owen should have recognized C three PO. If that if that's a, that's the problem, it could have been so easily avoided if he just didn't go with the stupid plot that Anakin built C three PO. That's the problem. Like when he when he decided to do that, you run into all these issues. Yeah, they they honestly just should not have been there. The whole last Jedi is a plot hole. <laughs> I really appreciate the donation, Jedi Bob, but. Nah. He says, not very big. I consider them big because they could have so easily been avoided. Like, it wasn't like it was crucial to have those droids in those films. That's the biggest problem. But instead, it's just like, oh, we'll just, we'll just go ahead and do this. And then end up riding ourselves into a corner. So yeah. All right, I can I can see you guys are are getting tired of me uh, <laughs> bashing the prequels. I just wanted to show my I just wanted to express my opinion, guys. Is that okay? I'm pretty sure if I was bashing the sequels, you guys would never stop me. But um, I just I just wanted to let you guys know how I felt about it. Says, I think Owen Lars didn't realize it until they mentioned Kenobi. That's why he told Luke to wipe their memories. I mean, yeah, he definitely realized it then, but he he should have he should have recognized them initially. Up front, he should have been like, "Oh crap, this is the droid that Anakin built." You know what? I don't know what this guy is. I don't know where like where this droid has been, so I'll just buy another droid. Wait, did I miss the prequel bashing? Yes, there was some really good prequel bashing going on. <sighs> it's treason then. <laughs> <sighs> Can we also talk about how cringeworthy Padme's dialogue in that film is? Like, Padme talks like... You, you guys know those memes where it's like, I made a bot listen to a thousand hours of such and such and 
told them to generate this thing and this is what it sounds like. Padme sounds like a bot who is asked to listen to thousands of who like who like like learned how to speak from the dictionary. And like that that's how her dialogue comes about. Like when she's talking about when she's talking to Anakin and he's, you know, trying to convince her that they can totally be in a relationship and she's like if you follow your thoughts through to conclusion, they will take you. You realize they'll take you to a place we can't. They'll take us to a place we cannot go. And it's just like, who would ever say that? If you follow your thoughts through to conclusion, you'll realize they'll take us to a place we cannot go. I don't know how you guys feel about the sequels, but there is nothing nearly as awful as that in the sequels. It's not the actor's fault. It's more on George Lucas. Yeah, I don't, I don't fault Natalie Portman for that, but like, the the scene, it's just the the dialogue is just so awful. Padme watched too many romance movies. Can we talk about how Anakin willingly married Pad married Anakin despite knowing he slaughtered an entire camp of people? Yeah. That was weird. I was saving you dummy is not is not nearly as bad as the terrible lions in episodes two and three. But seriously, like, the way, like, C-3PO talks more like a human would than Padme does. Like, Padme may as well have just been a droid with that dialogue. Who's better, Padme, Leia, or Rey? Well, I'll need to see the third sequel movie to determine the answer to that. You know what I wonder? I wonder if they ever, <clears throat> if Watto ever like physically removed that bomb in Anakin's head, that would make him blow up if he went too far away. Right? Like I imagine he would be like cleaning out his uh, junkyard, you know, dozens of years after Episode Two, and he'd come across like a button with a like a, a thing with a button on it. And you're like, huh, I wonder what this does. And he'll click it. And Darth Vader will be like about to tell Luke that he's his father. And then, boom! Blows him up. And that's how Star Wars Episode Five ends. Kid that takes this, now that's actually what blew up the Death Star. Yeah. <laughs> his chip. His chip was just, that's what, yeah. Is there any explanation for why no one went back for Shmi? No, there isn't. Like, why would Qui-Gon not just kill Watto and take Shmi? He was a slave owner. He clearly was not a good person. No one would have felt bad. I, I think it's totally sufficient. Like, how many... Like, that, like think about that. How many... At how many points... I mean, I guess in canon, the reason he wouldn't take his mom, because if you're going to train him to be a Jedi, like, he has to kind of detach himself from that. But that ultimately, like, leads him to go to the dark side, right? Like, him watching his mom die in his hands is where he's like, okay, like, I failed, but I'll never fail again. And that that's, like, his first step into the darkness. So, I don't know. They, they totally just botched the entire Anakin situation. Which further shows why Qui-Gon is indeed the worst Jedi. You think Starkiller could destroy Death Star on his own because he's so OP? Dude, Starkiller could easily destroy the Death Star. Absolutely. Why did Padme use her wealth to buy Anakin and his mother out of slavery? Also, why didn't Qui-Gon go to a more willing merchant that would be willing to accept galactic credits? Because, the, you know why. You know why. 
Hey, hey, we got Cardi Bricks in the house. See, this is the best stream ever. That just made my night. I mean, I, I guess I like I can understand why Qui Gon would not want Anakin to be close to his mom. Like, you know, if, if they're gonna train to be a Jedi, he would need to be detached from that, right? The Jedi, like Yoda, would even tell him, you know, if you want to be a Jedi, train yourself to let go of everything you fear to lose. So that's it's kind of the the nature of being a Jedi, right? Sacrificing some things like that, but. At the same time, if she was a slave, why not, you know, do what you can to make sure that, you know, you could help this person, you know, live not under slavery, right? Like, even if you're not going to bring her with you, at least, you know, like, leave her behind under her own free will. I don't know. He says, while you might like the prequels, you have to at least give credit to the actual show if Anakin slowly turns to the dark side, then coming back to the light. Um, episode two actually does, there's some really good scenes in episode two that kind of, that do, that do a really good job at showing Anakin's turn to the dark side. I think episode two does a better job at that than episode three. Looking forward to episode nine? Absolutely. Padme could have, yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah, like, even if they didn't bring her with them, they could have still, you know, made sure she wasn't a freaking slave. But the, if you sit around trying to, like, rationalize the prequels, you're gonna have a bad time. Because they inherently don't make sense. James Martin Bellamy says he learned to appreciate the prequels more only after watching Clone Wars. Yeah, Clone Wars did a great job at fixing a lot of the prequels problems Olivia Stormtrooper says you're gonna watch the Mandalorian Jay absolutely absolutely I'll be right back I gotta go grab some parts Here I am. Wow, did you guys seriously start making positive comments about the prequels while I was gone? How dare you? <laughs> Let's throw a secret party with that, Jay. No. Honestly, though, I love you guys. See, isn't this great? I love the fact that we have built a non-toxic Star Wars environment where, like, I can bash the prequels, you guys can bash the sequels, but we're all still good, cordial, and nice to each other here. <laughs> Kid the tapes. There you go. This party is over. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, I don't think so. No, you may not, Creed. If you do that, I will ban you from this channel. Bashing the originals is treason. Rich Boy Jerry, you proud of your house robbery video? Yes. I wish that went viral. I thought I thought it was honestly going to go viral. Whenever I first made it. <laughs> Man, the Millennium Falcon was a hunk of junk. JJG says, Jar Jar. This bomb bad party being over. Obi? Obi! Makes me so happy to be seeing you again. Looky, looky, Senator. Welcome back, Lego Soldier 82. Jay, can we talk about Resistance? It's good so far, and it's original. Yes, let's talk about Resistance. I love Resistance. Resistance is awesome. Yeah, I don't know why that one went viral, Tan Bricks. That's one of life's mysteries I'll never understand. But yeah, Resistance is great. Really enjoying that show. Why was there no episode this past weekend? Can someone explain that to me? I was very disappointed by that. Oh, God. Mid-season. So when is it coming back? What's up, she? If someone can tell me when resistance is coming back, I'll send you a pizza roll. February, the 13th of January or February? January 13th, okay. All right, so Creed's the one who said it first, so if it actually does end up coming back, Creed, you'll get a pizza roll. Don't let me down. Whew. All right, guys, so I think I've reached a point where I have done all the building I can do for tonight. Got a decent amount of work done. Obviously got these two columns built up right here. Also worked on the back of this building. So I think we're going to have to go ahead and call it a nizite. A night a nizite. As fun, as much fun as I've had with you guys, I am, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm sorry guys I'm sorry I'm tired yeah it was a good time though had a wonderful time with you guys well I'm tired I'll have to stop building too yeah no it was a great night guys I really did enjoy it we got some prequel bashing in which is always nice All right, see you, Lego Soldier 82. Thanks for the kind words. I'm too weak. Jeez, that's just amazing, Jay. You need to take a break from building, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for being understanding, guys. But, uh, yeah, so that's that's all I got for you guys. I, I definitely want to say I want to have videos pretty much 
for the rest of this. I guess it's today, Thursday, or today's Thursday. So tomorrow I want to drop the, my your questions answered. So you guys will check that out. Saturday I'm gonna do a full wave review of the um the new sets, the January sets. I'm gonna do a review of that. So make sure you check that out. That'll be cool. And then of course Sunday is gonna be the Vardos update. And then I I want to say this is gonna be like the biggest Vardos update since the like the Corvus, just because I worked on so many different things. So I have, I have so many things to show you guys. I'm really excited for it. So that's gonna finish it up. Um, like I always say, guys, if you like what I do, go ahead before you head out, make sure you like the stream, like give it a like, and then also go ahead and like, um, uh, or subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And of course I'll see you guys again very soon. So it was a wonderful time, like I said, and I honestly, I'm so excited to do this again at some point. So have fun guys. Make sure you do a little pukle bashing before you go to sleep. It'll help you sleep better.